The confetti has fallen inside the Superdome, and unfortunately for the Tar Heels, it was blue and crimson for the Jayhawks, with Kansas winning a tight battle by a score of 72 to 69. It looked like North Carolina had that game all but one after a first half that saw UNC jump out to a 15 point lead at the break. The best thing that happened to Kansas was that first 20 minutes coming to a close because they were on the ropes. Armando Baycott was working them on one ankle, playing through what had to be serious discomfort and became the first player in NCAA history with six double doubles in one tournament. Carolina held its opponents to just 30% to open the game behind a defensive performance that captured the transformation this team had done over the past couple of months where they play physical team first defense. And when you talk about this team's defense, it starts with its leader on that end in Leaky Black, who had the Big 12's player of the year in a box. Regrettably for North Carolina, this is a game of two halves, and we had seen something similar in Kansas's game against Miami earlier in the tournament to know that they would try to respond in a big way. The hope was that Carolina would be ready for it. Kansas was able to get back into the game by picking on UNC's guards on the defensive end. They found opportunities to use their size advantage by posting up Caleb Love and RJ Davis, which is something other teams really haven't tried much of. Bill Self didn't get into the Naismith Hall of Fame by accident. Even with Kansas going up six with 10 minutes to play, North Carolina kept battling. R.J. Davis settled his team back into the game, scoring on back-to-back -back possessions, and Puff Johnson grew up what seemed to be 10 years in one night. He kept UNC in the national championship game. In the end, North Carolina ran out of bodies while Kansas had a player in Remy Martin, a two-time first-team Pac-12 player, coming off the bench. When Baycott went out with under a minute left, Kansas went right to their big for an easy look. To me, this loss doesn't take away from what had already been a legendary run for this UNC team. They had the biggest margin of victory ever in an 8-9 game against Marquette. They then beat the defending national champions and number one seed Baylor in the Bears' home state. Next, they beat another Final Four team from the previous year with almost all of their returning production in UCLA. Later on in Philadelphia, they beat the biggest Cinderella this tournament has ever seen in St. Peter's. After all that, they followed it up by beating Duke and forced Coach K into an early checkout from the Big Easy. They came up short tonight, but it's a group that you have to be proud of. Hubert Davis has wanted guys looking for a fight, and North Carolina answered the bell. He's spoken about wanting to put the Tar Heels back on the map, and this collection of guys behind a first-year head coach did that. Not the result the fan base wanted, but this should be a team that gets remembered whenever the next group makes it back. Until next time, I'm Taylor Vipolis, signing off for Inside Carolina.